Elon Musk has sold $6.9 billion worth of Tesla stock. Recently, the billionaire has been selling Tesla shares left and right. Investors are worried that he will leave Tesla for good. Don't swipe or click away because we'll tell you what would happen if Elon Musk left Tesla. On August 5th, 8th, and 9th, Elon Musk finalized three transactions and sold $6.9 billion of his Tesla shares. Just like that, 7.92 million shares of the company were no longer in Musk's hands. As a result, the stock price went down. The popular CEO has been doing this for quite some time now, and investors are getting worried. When some of his fans addressed Musk about their concerns on Twitter, the CEO claimed there was nothing to worry about. It seems that the statement that he will buy Twitter outright is becoming more expensive than he'd like to admit. Initially, he claimed that he would buy the tech giant for $44 billion. When the board of directors finalized the decision and decided to sell, he backed out of the deal. His defense? Claiming that there was trouble with some Twitter bots. Many people found this defense a little dubious, and Twitter didn't bite the bait. They immediately filed a lawsuit against Musk, and according to the latest news, it's going to be a really tough deal to get out of. To calm investors down, Musk told them it was possible Twitter will force him to buy the company for the agreed-upon price, so he is preparing well in advance. One of his fans asked him whether or not he will buy back the shares of the Tesla stock he sold once the lawsuit settles, and his answer was as follows. Yes, in the hopefully unlikely event that Twitter forces this deal to close and some equity partners don't come through, it is important to avoid an emergency sell of Tesla stock. According to the company's CEO, this is just a precautionary measure to smash in that like button just like you should if you haven't already. But no, in all seriousness, it's a precautionary measure to avoid any late sales of the stock. Even though Twitter is fighting to finalize the deal, he doesn't want to buy the company because of problems on the inside. However, Twitter is spending millions of dollars, 33 million between April and June to be exact, to finalize the deal. And all of those expenditures are going to go to waste if the deal falls through. Because of Musk's tweet, where he said that he will buy the company, Twitter's daily user base has grown to 237 million people. So more people means more profit, right? Not quite. You see, analysts understood Twitter's position, and they projected a significant loss for the company. But Twitter exceeded expectations, and not in a good way. They expected the company to lose much less than the current $270 million, and Musk is clearly wondering how the company can lose so much money. From where he's standing, it's completely understandable that he doesn't want to buy. If all of those fans are actually real, there is no reason the company isn't profitable. So Musk is thinking Twitter's audience growth is not natural, but Twitter wants to unload the entire company at the agreed upon $54.20 per share. If they play their cards right, the deal might finalize, and there is a chance that Musk will be the new owner of Twitter. In 2010, when Tesla went public, Musk said that he would be the last one to sell Tesla stocks. Now, that's all good for publicity, but we know he hasn't really stuck to his promise in the last decade or so. Aside from selling small chunks of his Tesla shares in the past for the sake of taxes, he has also been selling Tesla stocks for various other reasons. Most recently, in 2021, Musk posted a poll on Twitter. The question? Should he sell 10% of his Tesla stock? With millions of answers pouring in, over 50% of them clicked yes. Unsurprisingly, investors immediately got worried, and they started selling. The stock tanked, and Musk lost a total of $50 billion of wealth in just two days. And over the course of nine months, Musk has constantly been losing huge chunks of his net worth. Why? Because he kept selling chunks of his Tesla position. Big chunks. We're talking billions of dollars. In December of 2021, he sold several billion dollars worth of Tesla stock to cover the taxes on the options he would exercise in 2022. However, three billion dollars were still left in his coffers. Where did that money go? It stayed in the coffers. The CEO claimed that he is going to invest that money in Twitter. And then he announced that he was done selling Tesla. He was surely not lying. Well, he sold another eight billion dollars worth of his company. And again, he claimed it was to cover some equity needed in the deal. Well, things are really starting to smell fishy around here. And we're not even finished. Before the $6.9 billion of Tesla stock he sold in August, 
he sold another 6.5 billion of Tesla stock in April of this year. And again, he said that this was done in order for him to not sell last minute. So let's see. If we add up all of the stock sales above, we come up with a number. That number is 24.4. Now add a dollar sign up front and follow the last digit with eight zeros and you'll get the amount of cash Musk currently has in the bank. He only needs another $20 billion to buy Twitter, but he doesn't want to buy Twitter. So what's he doing with $24.4 billion? Well, one thing he is doing for sure is wiping his equity in Tesla. Well, at the start of 2010, Musk owned 28.4% of the company. Currently, he owns under 15%. So he willingly sold 13.4% of a nearly trillion dollar company because of the Twitter deal? Again, something smells fishy. So we got to thinking and we wondered what would happen if Musk decides to break his promise again in the future. What would happen to Tesla if he decided to sell and exit the company completely? Let's assume that the board of directors decides to fire Elon. It happened to Steve Jobs. It could happen to Elon too. In a hypothetical scenario, they might wave the finger at Elon and say, you and your tweets have done enough damage to this company. Because of you, the stock price is down 25%. You're fired. Okay, now what does he do? Well, he's still 20% owner of the company. How do you get him to sell his shares? Well, you might say that in that moment, wanting to get back at all of the directors on the Tesla board, he will decide to sell all of his Tesla stock. That would be a cataclysmic event for the company. Not only has Elon attained fame rivaling that of Queen Elizabeth or Edison, he is also the leader behind a lot of the design and manufacturing processes at Tesla. So not only would his fans dump the stock because Musk is out, the company would further go down because they lost their leading brain. If you're worried about the stock price of the company, doing this would clearly be a terrible idea. But what if he slowly decides to move out? Instead of selling his entire stock all at once, he does it billion by billion. A few million shares here, another million shares there. And in about five years time, he has sold all of his remaining 15%. What would happen to Tesla then? Well, we don't really see a scenario where Musk could willingly give up on Tesla. The company is his baby and the electric vehicle revolution is at the start. Surely, he won't give up now. In conclusion, we haven't found any concrete evidence that Elon will sell his remaining shares, so investors can remain calm for the time being. On a related note, what do you think will happen to those 400,000 pre-ordered EVs if Musk left? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.